look at your hand, right? Where's the nearest exit? This way. Who are you been so soon? Hello? What's going on? What's that black gunk all over ya? You'll find out soon enough. Come, join me. He's crazy. Run for it. You don't gotta tell me twice. Not so fast. What the? Orange! Go on ahead! I'll be... Ah! <laughs> yes, purple, yes! Run! Run as long as you can! Ah, no, no! Shh! It's just me, purple! Green? What is this place? I don't recognize it at all. This is my secret hideout. You'd have to look real hard to find it. Thankfully, I don't rely on sight. Well, I'm glad you have it in a time like this. Green, Blue has gone crazy. He's your best friend, right? Do you have any idea why? Yeah, I do. It's... it's all my fault. What do you mean? It all started just yesterday. Blue and I were talking about both of us wanting to be human again, as per usual. But working with Red, again, after all he's done to us, how could you two trust him? We couldn't, but he was determined. He saw how much I missed my humanity, that he was willing to do anything to help. So he went to Red for a cure, a real cure. And Red claimed to have one too. Red was saying how he had come up with his newest scheme to turn human again. Blue was skeptical, as always, but also desperate. He made Red promise that things would be different this time. Red produced a vial of black liquid. He told Blue that it was the very essence of the forgotten rainbow friend, Black, Red's own father. Apparently, after Black's defeat, Red was able to preserve some part of him, thinking it would prove useful in his experiments. Blue hesitated, rightfully thinking that this was all a bad idea. Red took the vial and threw it at Blue. The black blue exploded onto him, and soon he was covered in the stuff. When the pained noises had ended, blue wasn't quite blue anymore. Gone was the last shred of humanity and goodness, replaced by forgotten friend's evil and hatred, especially towards his son, Red. He formed a blade with his dark essence and skewered Red through the heart. I let out a scream when I heard the sickening strike, and Blue turned his attention on me. I had to get out of there as quick as I could. Thankfully, no one knew about this hideout, not even Blue. And now I've been here ever since. When I saw you running from it, though, I had to act fast. Thanks for your help, Green. But Blue got to Orange. We can't let what happened to Blue get to him, too. You're right, but I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. I know what it did to Red. There's no way we can go against it. Orange is our friend, and so is Blue. We have to save them. I welcome you to try. Blue! So, this is where you've been hiding all this time. Pretty sneaky, Green. But unfortunately, it's the end of the line. Come on, Green. This is it. We gotta take him down, together. I, I can't. Blue, snap out of- ah! Green's heart just isn't in this fight, it seems, Purple. It's just you and me. Green. All right. I'll take you on. You can run, but you can't hide. Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna make you like me! 
That way we can all be friends again. Isn't it lovely? Blue, that punk's taken over your mind. You're acting crazy. Crazy? Crazy, am I? Would a crazy person do this? <laughs> Tear us apart. Oh, I love you guys. 